everybody, today we're going to be reporting a desert plant that is in a lot of stress. Okay, coming up. Okay my friends, so there are many signs that we can look out for in order to see if our desert plant is in stress. The first sign is the branches. So if you see that the branches are falling over like with this one right here, this may mean that your plant is under stress and it needs repotting. Another very good sign to know if your plant is under stress in the pot is actually when you see that the plant is growing outside of the pot, like here. This again means that the plant doesn't have so much space inside the pot, so it's trying to get more space outside. And this is another pretty good sign that your zestet plant needs repotting. And the third sign, actually I didn't know about this, and when I saw it I was pretty excited because I only knew that the zestet plant is really rare that they flower, but unfortunately this is not a good sign. When your zestet plant flowers, this means means that actually the plant is under stress and this is a sign that they're trying to reproduce before they die. Okay so as you can see this has been a learning curve for me but I wanted to share with you just in case it's helpful and hopefully we can make this plant feel better. But now let's get to repotting. Okay you guys so as you can see I'm actually massaging the soil and trying to take as much soil out as possible. So the roots are released and we can try to pull it out of this pot. And we start to see the roots, so that's good. So I'm just going to try to take more soil before I start pulling out, just so it's not so bound to the pot and it's easier to take her out. So I place the back here just to protect the floor a little bit. And we can maybe later use this soil as well when we're repotting the plant. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to place it on the floor very carefully so where we don't have so many leaves, so maybe on this side. And I'm gonna try to pull it really gently. So let's try. Yeah, I think it's coming out, guys. Okay, let's just be very careful. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Mm, oh, look at that. There they are. I mean, the roots look really healthy, but as you can see, they're very <laughs> in the pot. Okay, so we're gonna try to loose them up a little bit and very carefully so we don't break them. And I'm still trying to massage the soil out because what we're gonna try to do now is divide this plant. So depending on the root system that we have, we will try to divide it so it's good for the plant and we don't have to cut it, but just divide it naturally and organically. But we will see how it goes. And this soil we're actually going to use when we repot it too. So I'm going to use new soil that I make, but I think this soil is also good to reuse it. Okay, you guys, so when we were deciding where to divide our plant, this one actually came out really easily because it's one of the clusters. So as you can see, it has a very big root base and then it has some branches here and these that of course we want that, right? I mean, we could divide it here maybe and cut it and make two clusters here. So maybe that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna cut here, there. I think it's coming up. Yeah, there we go. So then we have one part here, right there and another one here. So we ended up with one, two, three, three cuttings. For the setset plant, you can always use an all-purpose houseplant potting mix, but today I'm gonna be using my recipe for potting mix just to give her an extra care. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this soil to the potting mix just to, just to reuse this soil and also because it has some nutrients that the plant may be accustomed to already. So I'm just gonna mix my potting mix with these ingredients as well here. And I always like to add to the bottom of the pot these clay pebbles. So these ones actually look like this. And basically they help us with humidity levels at the bottom and in the soil and also for drainage. So that's why I always like to add to the pots here. Now we're going to add some soil to our pot. So we want to add this soil so the pot has some base and the roots can actually sit on this 
soil as the base. So I'm going to cut a little bit of these roots, maybe here, so they're not as long. And now we are going to plant it. So let's just put them over here. We want to really give the plant a lot of support. So once I'm done adding the soil, I'm going to press it down a little bit, just gently, but we're going to compress, like not too much, but just so it has a strong base. And on top of that, I'm going to add some of these clay pebbles. These ones are pink, so they're going to serve her as support and also as decoration. Okay, so now the three parts are in their new home. I hope that they will feel better now that they have their own space. But this plant was actually a gift from our friend and it came with these three feathers. And I just noticed that the feathers are the colors of the clay pebbles. So I decided to put them on each of the pots. And this is just gonna maintain them kind of like as a unit, but also they're gonna have their own essence. So yeah, I hope that you like this video. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, ciao. <laughs>